Do you like iron? Do you want all the iron? I have about ooh, almost 50,000 iron ignots in this silo. All this iron comes from my iron farm, sent up through a giant sorter, and fills this silo. And I have filled this silo several times. Once the silo's filled, I compress those ignots into blocks of iron, and it fills this silo. And I use a lot of iron. I use it for everything I build. I'm obsessed with using hoppers to transport materials all over the game into massive sorters that fill the entire basement of my fortress because I want to sort everything in the game. But I don't want to carry anything. I want it to come via underground conveyors made of hoppers from all my different farms. And the reason I'm able to accomplish all that is because of that single little iron farm. That's right. What has constituted probably upwards of a million bars of iron has all come from this one tiny little iron farm. It's one of the first farms I built in this game. So let me show you how this thing works. At the core is essentially a village. Three beds and three villagers under roof constitutes a village in game mechanics. So this is a village, according to the game mechanics. All you have to do then is introduce a mob into the village, in this case a baby zombie in a minecart, and the villagers will panic. You can see them doing that now. When the villagers panic, they summon a golem, if there is not already one present. This is a kill room that immediately pushes the golem into the lava. He dies, dropping the iron ignots and the little roses he holds. And that sends it through the conveyor system into the massive hoppers, of, into the storage silos underneath my fortress. It's very easy to build. It's only five blocks by five blocks. It uses no moving parts and only very basic resources. The most complex thing you need to create are these hoppers, which can, you know require five iron each and a chest to make a hopper. But beyond that, there is nothing exotic or extraordinary about this. It's easy to build almost immediately as soon as you spawn into the world. Just go down and grab, uh, mine some iron and make the few components that make this farm and you will have an unlimited supply of iron for all your days. And it's very compact. This area around it is only this way because you have to invalidate the spawn area for the golem. Ten blocks out from the, uh, the village, if you will, in each direction. That way the golem will only spawn in the kill chamber. That's it. So I made a video the tutorial, if you will, on how to build one of these. And you're about to see that. And, um, uh, how do I say this? I shouldn't be making YouTube videos. But here goes. To build one, you pick a spot. That's going to be the center of your building. Put your three beds down. Then... Let's surround them. So the base of the iron farm is a five by five. So you don't have to place the beds down first, but just to give you some idea. Now we're gonna leave this side open right here, okay? Cause we have to be able to get uh, the zombie in somehow. So let's put a block there and there, there and there, and there and there. Okay, now it's nice to have glass here, like that. I am building this more or less off memory, so bear with me a second here. Uh, let's see where that's going to go straight in. And then what you want to do is, well, let me just put these right here for a second. And now this block right here, sometimes it needs to be a stair. And this one, you want like that. And the reason you want it like that is so when the minecart hits it, it drops down and goes right there. Okay. And then the reason this one is that way. Is so this provides a view. If the villagers standing on these beds can't see the zombie or whatever mob is sitting in the uh, minecart, they won't go into a panic. And there's a strange mechanic. So when the villagers are here, they have to sleep once. So you, want, you don't want to put the, the mob in the minecart right away. You want to get your three villagers in here, uh, and you can leave it open like this until you get the villagers in. Then you can go ahead and 
put this, uh, you know, not that way, but that way so that it, the step angles and it forces the uh, mine cart down. And that traps it against this block. But uh, you want to get the villagers in first because they won't willingly come in here if there's a mob anyway. And then once the villagers are in here, they all have to sleep at least once. And that uh, locks in the village mechanic. It's, it's part of the game's mechanics that this won't work if the villagers don't sleep at least once. So you, well, you want to make sure you get the villagers in here uh, and have them sleep on each of these beds. They should each t claim one and sleep. And that needs to happen at least one full day, you know, uh, one, one time uh, to activate the, uh, the mechanics in the game's engine, so to speak, to, to cause this to become a, a village and then for them to react and, and panic and summon and everything. It just won't work, so just make sure you do it in that specific order. But then you just put that block like that. And I think uh, that one there. And then... Uh, let me see. I think you can go like that. And let's do... Yeah, let's... Uh, let's see. I think like that. And like that. And I guess we don't need it. We go like that. Okay. So, here, you're going to do block, block, block. And then at this end, we're going to want some hoppers. So let me grab those real quick from right here. To the grass dirt. And... You're going to have hopper pacing down. Uh, uh, shift click, hopper into that one, like I did there. Shift click, hopper into that one. So break that. And actually, I'm going to change that to that. And the reason for that is so we can have a chest. Is that a trap chest? I don't want a trap chest. I don't need a trap chest. Why did I do that? Where's a chest? Uh, there we go. I guess no, it's still a trap chest. Why why don't why can't I just have a regular chest like all the other kids? This is this is not fair. There's a regular chest. I don't think it makes a difference if you used a trap chest, you just don't need to. So you know, don't don't waste your time doing that. Um there we go. And shift click to the top of the thing and there we go. So that will force all the uh the goodies into your chest then yeah, I don't know if that one has to be stair-stepped because that one's there. Eh, who cares? All right, so that's a 5x5 five five like that. Okay, so that's that's the basics of how you set that up. Up here, okay, we're going to now grab these, and we're going to put those in a layer like that, like that. There we go. And the reason that has to be done like that is because the height of a villager is such that they are, because they're standing on their beds the entire time, you need to have these. If you do a half slab, their heads will clip with the, uh, the half slab, and that will cause problems. So you do want to use trap doors because they're only a quarter thick instead of half thick. And then the villager's heads will clear that. I can actually show you that. Uh, let me, let me splice in a clip and kind of show you that. Okay, let me do this this way. I'm going to grab and put my three villagers in right now. Uh, so what you would want to do is, you know, you would, uh, villa that's, they can't get in there, so you have to take this block out, and then you'd, you'd go like that, and you make it too high. And, uh, you would literally bring the villagers in. Like this. Well, let me show you. Take a boat. You go like that. Uh, set the boat down. Can I throw a villager spawn egg into a boat? Oh, he just goes in. Cool. Alright. And then you get in, and you can actually row a boat onto the ground. So you would like go like this. Okay. And then you would get out. And... You would block him in like this. And then break the boat. He's going to go in, okay? And then you just, all the way in. You go ahead and uh, throw a block there. Now uh, go on. Go over to the beds. Maybe he's, Maybe it's in the way of his head. 
Come on. Get in there. Oh my god. No, don't go back in this spot. Crap. Come on. No. Uh, yes. Ha! Okay. Um. No, go go into the beds. Don't look at me. Just, oh my god. It's really... When you have two in here and then you're trying to get the third one in here, um, I might recommend that you... Uh, Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yep, there we go. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Another way uh, that might be a little easier once you have the first guy in there is um, build a ramp. Uh, you know what I'm saying? When I say like a ramp, you know, you just uh, you go and yeah. And you uh, like this and like this and uh, you know, this is up. Use dirt. I don't care. Use a cheaper material. Uh, but you funnel. Uh, you know, you funnel the guys up like this and uh, let them fall in that way, you know. One of these deals, okay. And you like that. And so, let me see if I can get this through. Now I'm gonna, if I'm going to do it and tell you that's what you need to do, then I might as well try to, like, prove it. Okay. Let's uh, see if this dumb idea works. I'm pretty sure this is what I did. I mean, it's been a minute since I... Uh, okay. Let's, uh... Let's see. Okay, so you have your boat. Oh, I like that. You got... And he goes... They're so cooperative. They go right into that thing. It's amazing. All right, so you go like this, like this, like this, like this. And then you say, uh-huh, and you get out. And then you, you trap them. Like that. And you break it. And you're going to go up the stairs. Come on. Please. Get up this dude. Don't don't embarrass me like this. I've I've told all these people that this works. Please go up there. Yes, this way. Go. Th that way. Don't mm. come on. <laughs> Take another step. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yep. 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 Now, ha <laughs> ha! All right, okay. I'm not gonna do the third guy. You got the point. All right, you saw it works. I'm not lying to you. Um, it is that easy. I'm just that good. Yada yada. Okay, okay. I'm just kidding. All right. Um, whew, was, here I am telling you people how to do things, and I'm not even sure myself sometimes if it works. This is my level of confidence and where that's at. All right, all right. I'm done with that. Okay. So I'm not gonna. Okay, so, all right, so then, ah, boom, bang, you do that, and you have three guys, yay, you're an awesome, okay, let's put that block back, all right, I'm going to leave this open, this is important, now, uh, the sun, is it moving, hmm, why am I suspicious that time is not moving in this world, uh, one moment. Okay. I said it tonight and they slept. Yeah, um... Hmm. Time's not moving in this world, but that's not important. Okay. So, by forcing them to sleep, it has created a, uh... A night cycle. Um, norm normally time just, it just becomes night, but for some reason I have turned off the day-night cycle, and I have forgotten how to turn it back on. So we're not going to worry about that. All right, next part, let's build this. So you put a stair there. You put a stair there. They don't have to be made of copper. Um, and I'm using nether brick fence. I've always used nether brick fence because it doesn't burn, but... I'm not saying you have to use nether brick fence. I'm just saying that's what I'm going to use. I think because if you put lava against wood, I'm not like I'm not convinced it won't burn. I don't know, maybe it won't. But if you use nether brick fence, it's like you don't have to worry about it. Another brick fence doesn't burn anyway. But I guess you could use wood. I'm not really sure. 
All right, take your trap doors. You're going to put one, two, three. Close them. And then we got to go up. Boy, we got to go up one more, don't we? I know we do. I'm just going to fly because I cheat. Like, that's how I roll. I think. No. Is it time for the roof now? So, can you use half slabs? No, that's right. I'm not I'm not crazy. Can you use half slabs for this roof? I think you can. But don't quote me on it. Uh, you might you might be able to use half slabs, but I'm going to use these trap doors because I've built this. I built varieties of this, and this is an easy f build to glitch sometimes. And what I mean is, I've, I've modified this. You're going to have to monkey around with it sometimes, to be completely honest here, full disclosure. Sometimes when you build these things, they just don't work. Like, they're, like the one I have in my main world works fantastic. It works every time the golem spawns right there, every single time, like a good little boy. And he spawns constantly, about twice a minute, right on schedule, every 30 seconds, like clockwork. And I have made very, very subtle changes to this design and had it not work so just saying like i'm not gonna like you can play around with it all you want it's not even my design i would give full credit to the guy that invented it but i found this on the internet a million years ago and i have no idea who that dude is can i come on baby come on yes um so I'm going to stick with the design in my main world that I know for a fact works perfect. But please feel free to modify this or monkey around with it. Sometimes I've gotten... I'm going to go over there and show you that at the end. You're not supposed to see that until the end. But um, I have made some sick modifications to this, which massively increased the spawn rate, sort of, and then times where I've made one change and it didn't spawn at all. So just like I said, full disclosure, it's not my... I don't... I'm not that good at this game to understand the actual internal mechanics. You saw what I did. I put three trap doors there. Now you do have to do this part, okay? Whether or not this has to be nether brick, whether or not this could just be a half slab roof, because obviously you want it to be an invalid spawn. Um, but I think any any non-valid spawn block roof, like a half slab roof, would be fine. And could you use wood fence instead of nether brick? Uh, probably. Um, screwed up yes like that yes perfect okay so you do will I hit that nope cool all right the golem is tall enough that he hits it so you put these regardless of oh it's dripping that's cool um regardless whether this is going to be a wood fence or another brick fence you see what I did there I had these three like that and you fold them up like that and you put these three and these are trap doors Again, I'm using these ones are just wood, right? This is um that's not the thing I was trying to hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are crimson, so that's a type of wood. I do it because it sort of matches the nether brick because in this this is Ovos Rustic Redemption, this this uh, resource pack, and that's the color. It gives like a purplish hue to everything nether related, interestingly. Um so I'm 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 thinking it's probably safe to use wood. I really don't know. I know that these don't have to be copper, these could be wood. They're wood in mine. Eh, whatever. Um, this has to be trapdoors because those guys, their heads need to be able to clear these. And since they're standing on their bed, they will not clear this floor. This floor, these are valid. Like, the golem will spawn. For whatever reason, the golem can spawn on these. But he won't spawn up here. I have no idea why. But this has to be trapdoors. You need three trapdoors there. You need three trapdoors there. Whether or not this backing fence... I mean, I guess technically you could just build that out of blocks, but, I mean, this has some aesthetics to it. Uh, you know, but do you do you need to do that? You mess around with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I do it like this, it seems to work really good. Knock on wood, it's, it's going to perform. Uh, we'll see. Put a bucket of water. You're going to click on the stair. Click on the stair. Okay. See how it forces everything to the center? Perfect. You're done up here, okay? You can light it up if you want. Um, so mobs don't spawn. Obviously, you don't want mobs spawning around here. 
Um, so take that into consideration that you do probably want to light it up a little bit. Um, obviously, you know, as far as like golems and what have you, they don't care about that. So, you know, uh, not very symmetric though. All right. Okay. And for good measure, yeah, no, because we want the area lit up. We don't want the stuff spawning here. Now you have to invalidate the golem spawn. It won't spawn in the tower except right in the center of this for whatever mythical reasons. Uh, so now what you want to do is invalidate the golem from spawning next to the tower. And you have to go out 10 paces. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and grab a handy dandy shovel because um, I'm just going to do it the cheap and easy way. We're just going to that's not what I meant to do. Oh, that was the wrong button. Get it together. Come on, man. All right. So you're going to come up from the center. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then fence post. All right. And this way, too. No. Wrong, wrong tool. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fence post. From the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fence post. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fence post. All right. Connect the fence posts, put a gate or two in, and finish invalidating this by either turning it all into pathway, plant, grass. I don't care what you do to make this an invalid spawn area. The easiest thing to do is, for me is to do this. So with a little bit of editing magic. Okay. All right. So as you can see, uh, I've cleared it all out, made it a pathway. And now, how do you get a zombie in a minecart in this so that they panic and summon an iron golem, which will then die and provide you with all the delicious iron forever? Step one, build a train track. So let's grab that's regular rail. We are going to need a powered rail. Uh, and lastly, a little switch. Okay, so what you're going to do is go ahead and take a rail. That's not the button I wanted to click. Why am I so bad at this? Oh, right. Because it won't... You can't put rail. That's not going to cooperate. There we go. That has to be dirt for whatever reason. You try to place rail down on path, it won't do anything. Strange. Okay. That's the first thing you have to do. The second thing you're going to want to do is... Wrap this. I'll explain in a second. And you're going to come around on this side and you're going to make a little room like that. All right. So I don't want to cheat this, to be honest. I want to actually show you this in survival, how to actually do this and that it does work. So I'm going to kill this guy. Um, well, I'm not going to kill him yet. He's not going to do anything, so let me, uh, let me block him from getting in and remove that fence. Dude, seriously, get out of the way. All right. Because, you know, I just, I feel like it would be cheating. Um, I feel like it would be like that, and like that, and then grab, lastly, your minecart. And put that bad boy there. Okay. So. Well, I guess it's not cheating. Because he still has to work. Okay. Alright. The idea is to catch him on the tracks.
Why, thank you, good sir. Unfortunately, I have to kill you now. Because I screwed that up. No hard feelings. Promise. I can. Can you? Yes, it's still powered. Okay. Um. All right. Let's test this first. Yes. You see how it drops at the last second. That's what you want. Okay. No, oh, oh, shit. You know how you watch other YouTubers and they do things and it doesn't look like they don't know what they're doing? Yeah, that's not going to be this channel. Okay. Now. Two. First things first. Whew. All right. Daylight cycle is now true. The sun will actually set, and the game is now in survival mode. Right? Did I? Yes. Game is in survival mode. So you can see it there on the screen. The game has been set to survival mode. Daylight cycle is true. Okay. I am not wearing... I'm not prepared to fight anything that comes, but hopefully, hopefully this uh, the presence of these... Uh, the presence of these guys should lure uh, zombies. Zombies are attracted to villagers automatically, and they will pathfind in uh, right there, and they will pathfind. Let me move this over. Where's my shovel at? Okay. Okay, they will pathfind. Through that gap, and when they do... They will beeline straight for that, and you just flip the switch, and they will get knocked into the minecart and into there. And so now we just need a zombie. Oh, well, look, our first customer. Okay, cool. Come on. Come on. All right. No, no, attack them. No, attack them. There's villagers, juicy villagers. Go kill. Seriously? Okay, another guy. And he's going for the villagers. No. Guys. Oh, my God. Look. Juicy. They're literally just sleeping. They can't. Okay. Yes. Go. In. Go in there. Go in there. No. Go in there. Go in. <laughs> Please attack the villagers. Leave me alone. And you guys are the worst zombies I have ever seen. I just, I want you to know that. You're horrible. You don't see me. You don't see me. Just see the villagers. Okay. Nice. Nope, nope. You don't see me. Go. Go in there. Please go in there. Dude, please. Attack the villagers. Attack the villagers. Attack them. Dude. I'm going to regret this. I'm so going to regret this. Oh my god, he's just the dumbest zombie I've ever seen. I know what I did wrong. Okay. Yeah, I figured it out. All right, I know what's going on here. I knew I had to do this for a reason. 
let me just help my boy out, if you will. For some reason, zombies won't willingly walk on a train track. It's some... I don't know if it's a mechanic or a bug. Um... So... This is what I get for putting it in survival. I didn't give myself any tools first. Uh-huh. Oh! Leave me alone. Let me, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Look, it's... Now you can... Attack the villagers. Guys, this is becoming embarrassing. Get... Somebody go attack a village. Full of juicy villagers sleeping. It's gonna it's gonna turn to day, and you guys are gonna burn to death before you accomplish any of your zombie-like goals. Hey, come on, come get me. Come on, come. <laughs> Where? Really? You're not gonna walk across the train track? Come on, come here. Yeah. You guys suck. Ow. No. Go back in there. He turned into a water zombie. Oh, that'd be cool if I got him. Come on, push him across the train track. Come on. Do you guys not see that there are juicy villagers in here? You guys are being incredibly difficult. I just, I want you to know that. I hate, ouch, ouch. Ow. Ow. This is this is not going at all like I had planned. You guys. Gah. I'm gonna freaking die. Ha! I have no idea how that worked. Oh! It's ha 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 ha! Can't believe that. Uh. Okay, gotta get rid of this stuff before the golem thinks it's a violent spawn area. Uh. Oh my gosh! What a bunch of freaking ridiculousness! And I got a drowned. Oh, it's perfect. All right. Stay out. Okay. Let me, uh... Make sure this is... Okay. So, alright. The issue right now is... This guy... Okay, there we go. Sometimes... You may have problems... With the villager in this corner not quite seeing him, but it does not seem to be affecting the the golem spawning. He is spawning in the in the trap like he's supposed to. Uh, we're already starting iron. This is working. I can't believe it worked. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's his okay. This thing can be built. Are you gonna if you walk on that train track I'm gonna scream. Okay. Because, you know, seriously, you know, you guys weren't helping me out at all. 
You wouldn't even walk on the train track. Now you're probably just going to do a dance on it. All right, whatever. Okay. Look at it go. Look at it go. 